Salute you, Titi. It's another splint. Here for us day at our palazzo. Oh, it really is. And we're just outside our palazzo. You can just see the terrace, I think, there behind us um, from our terrace apartment. And uh, what we wanted to do today is actually just show you what is right round our palazzo. Um, we also, we wanted to show you our new wall. So we'll take a little walk down there. And what is really, really amazing about this village is it's underground cave network, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, there's so a lot. We're going to take you into the caves and show you the caves. Um, but what we also wanted to point out is where we are located with our palazzo here on this old um, road. We'll turn the camera. Should we go around? Strada. Go around, go around, go around, go around. Go around, go around. So behind us, well, this is the oldest road. In the whole of San Benedetto. In the whole of San Benedetto. We're just going to have a little peek down here, but it is blocked off because of... They're uh, still working on the properties. Yeah. Um, but it's wonderful um, what they've been doing down here. And here, well, there he is. there's the original. There's not much left of it now because apparently it was restored with the wrong paints and it's all coming off. But that is the saint of this village, San Benedetto, Saint Benedict. And unfortunately, you can't really read much of that now. I'm not going to touch it because I'll help to make it worse. Yeah, but, but listen, just peek through here. This road, right, absolutely wonderful. It's being um, restored beautifully. We have um, some old footage. Oh, we do. From before they restored it. Yeah. We'll just go back to some of the old footage and then um, we'll have a little wander down to our new wall. And then I think at the end we will show you the underground cave network. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Just to point out that these are also uh, uh, cave networks underground here. Yeah, all of these locked ones are cave networks and they're all over the village. There's another one there, another one there. They're all entrances to the cave networks underneath. Which is, and there, there's an old one there, that's an entrance to the caves. I still feel a bit freaked out. Yeah, oh, come on, just open the door. Let me have a look. <laughs> oh, my word. Is it what I mean? Look at this. Oh. I mean? No, I don't. No, we... <laughs> it's clearly stuff. Yes, but there was no paper. Andrew, Andrew. There was no paper sticking out. The head was in position before. You couldn't <laughs> see that. Oh, you saw Andrew, it Andrew came here the other day and he was so freaked out. He thought that was a real dead person. That been <laughs> that oh, it's entirely possible. I'm sorry, I don't think it's entirely possible. It I think they would have checked all the houses. No, but it, it was actually used by a film crew on, um, I don't know, if some film set. Okay. Do you know what? It reminds me of one of those Guy Fawkes. Anyway, I had a very quick glance at it. 
Yeah, well, you know, you should have let me have a glance. I would have verified it for you. Oh, my God. From one dummy to the other. <laughs> Do you feel a bit dumb? <laughs> Can't believe. And then, and then Andrew went and he told the mayor's office. I suppose I hadn't, and it had been. Yes, yeah, well. Can you imagine that? Sam. Um, let me just get out there. This was clearly the archive. Look, they've just left bits. Look at it, come in here. There's still. Someone's diary. Oh, look, little music. Score. No, I can't. We've got these old photos, got all these people. She looks grumpy. Look at that one. Looks like you're in the morning. <laughs> yeah. She looks like you in the evenings. As you know, that looks like you with the trash. So I'm now in the um, convent in San Benedetto in Perillus, which was attached to the abbey um, and it's uh, going to be restored and just discovered something quite amazing. Up these <laughs> steep steps, I'm in a bedroom, obviously uh, completely abandoned. And uh, this is what I discovered, up these steep steps. Check this out. This is an original, still completely intact dove coat with all of the dove holes where they lived. And a set of original steps still here and a stone made bowl that they would get their water out of another one there that's broken and all the little homes where the doves would have lived had original bits of stone set in the bottom of them and uh, there's a wheel of fortune window and there's loads more up the top there this is where the original bits of wood on that they would have perched on and uh, our dove tower was like this on the inside before it was restored now it doesn't have any of these which is a bit of a shame but the builders and the people in charge of it all decided that earthquake wise it's much safer to not have loads of holes in your main structure of the wall of the tower. So we've lost all our original holes like this, but this is exactly what it looked like inside our tower.
we're just having a little walk underneath um where our palazzo is you can just see the tower there and there's a there's a road a gravel road um that goes up towards it you can see its new wall we'll take a look at that um in a little while uh to see the old stone with roman numerals how they put it back in um we go around you've got the sunny views there across to Sulmona and Pecentro. That's the Sulmona Polina Valley with Popoli just down there. You can see its castle um, through the valley there. That's Pescara right at the end. And then we go round here. Look at these beautiful ruins here. If anyone wants to buy those, the Comuna would be more than delighted. I mean, you'd have stunning views. Great opportunity there for a hotel or, well, whatever anyway. And then... Um, Andrew, what, what have we got here? Well, we were worried about not having a toilet in our house. I mean, this is very near our house, and uh, it's you've got every modern convenience. It's got a bog brush, there's toilet roll in there, a sink to wash your hands, and a flushing toilet. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think it's connected to anything. Oh, no, don't. Oh, God. But what a frigging view. <laughs> That's a room. Toilet. You don't want a door. Room with a view. This is a toilet with a view. I mean, I, I would sit here all day. I really would. <laughs> I mean, I'd be looking forward to going to the toilet. <laughs> got this wall down here it's um yeah it was crumbling before so it's been reinforced it's rather large beautiful actually beautifully done and uh and now we're looking for the stone with the roman numerals we had a okay I've been down there right to the end. In fact, underneath the whole of San Benedetto and Pyrrhus is a massive network of these caves. And um, there's a fantastic um, entrance just up there. So we're back at this point now um, where we started off. And um, we're going to show you what we think is a real highlight of any visit to San Benedetto and Pyrrhus. And that's the underground network of the caves. Shall we go? This is our garden, of course, our house. I say house, our palazzo. And that's the new wall running all the way around where you can see the top of the uh, concrete. Yes, 
Oh, might have to take my sunglasses off. Might help considerably. And um, no, that's not a man bag. That's the camera case that Andrew has. He hasn't yet succumbed to the Italian man bag. I'm and trying to persuade I... him. Well, you will at some point because I am going to refuse to put any more of your stuff in my handbag. Oh, well, I'll find someone else to carry it for me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh. The temperature in here is always pretty much the same, isn't it? Like they say in cases, really. Watch okay, out here, particularly. And this way takes you to one of the other entrances yeah, where you can see daylight. And there's a big wine press here as well. And this is where, so in here, this is, we've got one of these. In fact, we've got two of these, actually, but um, I've probably filmed one of these. This is where you threw the grapes in, you trod them down, the wine would come out there and go into this tank underneath, and um, that's where the wine would be kept sealed off and they'd take it out when they wanted wine with a bucket and a rope. So, yes, yeah, so I'd imagine during the war, they would have all huddled in here. Yeah. That's where, you, that's where we put people who misbehaved in here. Yeah. And they, they didn't come out for a very long time. And if you come down here, watch your head. They would have also in the winter, back in the olden days, they would have come down here with their um, animals because uh, it would have been warmer. Huddled around the animals. Huddled, yeah, exactly. It would have been warmer than in their, in their basic houses I do that. back I in the day. Cats. You'd do that with the cats. I'd get them to jump away yes. and lay on me and then keep Yeah, them. yeah, body heat. Thank you. 